Good morning, I'm Steve Roach, the editor of Coin World, and this is your Monday Morning Brief. Now, one of my favorite parts about my job is the monthly question and answer that appears in the monthly edition of Coin World. I get to speak to a lot of cool people, I get to talk to my friends, people who have helped shape me as a numismatist. Last month, December, I chatted with Justin Peral, a cool guy around my age. He's president of the Milwaukee Numismatic Society, and this month, January, I got to chat with Rick Montgomery. Rick is president of Numismatic Guarantee Corporation in Sarasota, Florida, but I know Rick from the late 90s when I was an intern at PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, and he was the president. He really taught me how to look at coins, how to grade coins. Now, Rick got his start as a collector, like a lot of us, when he was seven or eight. In 1980, he went to the American Numismatic Association Certification Service in Colorado Springs. Worked there until 1987, moved to PCGS, then to NGC. Now, when I chatted with Rick and said, hey, you know, you chose a coin career over college, what would you tell other people making that decision? And he said, you know what, follow your passions because a traditional college doesn't teach you how coins are made. It's not gonna teach you how to be a coin dealer. It's not gonna teach you how to grade coins. He said, you know, if you're passionate and if you wanna become the best at what you do, then success will follow. And sometimes, you know, college isn't necessary or worth the cost to achieve those goals. Now, he looked at all of these cool things that you can do as a numismatist for a career. You can be a grader, you can be a dealer, you can be a writer, a marketer, an auctioneer. There's so many things that one can do in the hobby. Now, when I asked him specifically about coin grading, he said, you know, I asked him, Rick, how, when you're in the grading room, how do you turn someone from an okay grader into a great grader? And he said, feedback. He wants to help people in the grading room understand what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, understand the mistakes that they're making. Feedback is essential. Now when I asked what's the secret for your grading, besides looking at millions of coins over the course of a career, he said consistency. He looks at coins in the same area in a dark room. He uses a normal incandescent bulb, he prefers 75 watts, along with a swing arm lamp. He says consistency is the key. And finally, when I asked him about magnification, he repeated a lot of what Don Bonser told me a few months ago. Rick said, you know, magnification is a double-edged sword. He uses it for identifying varieties. He'll even use a microscope for identifying counterfeits. But for day-to-day -day use, he doesn't use it because, and he advises collectors to be a little bit careful with magnification because it's a double-edged sword. It helps you see things closely, but sometimes you can focus too much on details at the expense of understanding what the whole coin looks like. And the eye appeal, incorporating the coin's whole appearance into the grade is absolutely essential. What kind of loop does he use on a day-to-day -day basis? A seven power Bausch & Lomb. Again, I'm Steve Roach. Thanks for watching and thanks for visiting Coin World.